if you look at 2024, year to date. And remember, these puppies, they didn't start in earnest till the 12th of January, so they missed the first two weeks, let's call it. <laughs> HS1, thank you. Uh, but US growth stocks and Bitcoins are the story of the year so far. Corporate bonds also a little bit up there. Notable Japan, emerging markets making some rare appearances. But gold ETFs are in the gutter, despite the gold price seeing all-time highs is also very interesting. So again, the big story of the year so far really is these nine new spot ETFs. And I cover that enough every single day. So that's all I'm going to say today. Now let's look at this new chart that we have here. It's a new version. I decided to expand it to the top 75 with the team. Thank you for all that they do. And this gives you a visual. Uh, the first block on the left is the last seven days for the top 75 digital assets and on the right the top 75 digital assets over the last 30 days what's interesting about this hey veg trader is literally two of my biggest salt hold positions are on the very top jupiter and pith uh, solana's up there as one of the top five avalanche is there i do not hold avalanche or i can't read what the other one is and then at the bottom it is a bit of an eye chart i need to figure out a way of getting these things a little bit bigger but over the last 30 days, the big story of things like the Flokies and the Peppies and all the meme coin things, a little bit of AI in there too. 